guests welcome back to Zera's channel and to let's talk Arsenal and the the reason I'm been thinking to share with you some personal question uh, and tweaks and let's uh, definitely uh, talk the newest ship available and you all well know about Arsenal you do have uh, maybe once uh, patch those 25% uh, coupons for ships for upgrades and I urge you to use it if you wish and want um, so let's talk about the ships so the new bad boy in town which everyone everyone is talking about it's the Jean Bart now it said that I need 94,000 but it, it's not true you sure you need 228,000 uh, coal which uh, it's kind of a, a lot why for me it's a little bit of mystery why we're getting the size to give those two ships tier 9 ships different prices I'm talking about Musashi's 176 and uh, for Jean Bart it's gosh 50,000 more coal now when you use the coupon guys I do believe that you have 170 ish coal one maybe 172,000 so yeah however if you use for a Musashi you will get down to probably around 150 I do have 133,000 so basically guys I need around close to 50,000 more uh, when I using the coupons my honestly opinion the Jean Bart it's a very surprise uh, strong uh, uh, battleship what I can say so far and uh, it's uh, shall I say in the near future guys let's talk about Jean Bart in the near future it will be even more helpful uh, when the air care carrier it's reworked it's done and I will explain you why the Jean Bart AA versus let's go uh, let's go back to port and touch tree let's go to France Gascogne it's a uh, improved Gascogne right but the AA without any captain without anything the Gascogne has 57 now guys I hope you remember the Flamus uh, recommendation for the build if you build up full AA I'm talking about Jean Bart it will beat even the um, tier 10 uh, fronts in AA which basically means guys let me put it this way Jean Bart's AA it will be by far the best AA battleship in this game it would even beat the mighty Missouri so it will have better Missouri uh, AA than Missouri uh, and and uh, extremely extremely um, strong now why is that important well in the near future guys a couple patches from now I don't know when but when the CV rework is done the wargaming will let maybe three CVs in each and every time and then if you are a slow Musashi or uh, let's say even hell even the Yamato you will not have such a good time because let's face it if three ships are aiming at you uh, and you don't have any very good support I'm talking about uh, cruiser you have to be uh, the, your your battleship you have to be near uh, to a uh, strong AA cruiser to survive that's what I'm trying to say so uh, now I uh, like fast uh, turning and fast moving battleship I'm not that fan of slow um, you know barely kiting away uh, ships I, I definitely see in right hands the um, this shit I'm talking about the Jean Bart uh, will perform extremely well with the tools she have I'm talking about a pretty nice good looking speed um, very fast rate of fire and probably that's the reason you guys all love her and I saw some youtubers they said uh, where give me already have sold 
thousand of Jean Bart in just couple hours only. So yeah, it will probably be, guys, one of the. It is the most experience, uh, expensive ship, and for me, I'm talking about for me, it's there's no way in hell I can purchase for 80 bucks uh, what uh, she cost in uh, just a ship in a premium shop because let's face it guys we are all different some of you guys earn very easy money uh, for me 80 bucks that it's a fortune right now I don't have an even have a premium account for crying out loud but there's something else for all of you average Joe players that this is the video for you now you see me zero China, I need 50,000 calls. Well, there is very smart way to do it and I actually urge you especially if you well, I did not play one single battle today, but I do have 107 um, uh, containers. Now once you reach let's say over here to 37,000 you have the daily bonus you can choose uh, for the to go for a call okay it was not bad let's open a couple containers shall we okay not bad but you see each and every single container you open not in every time but y you get the point you will earn 400 uh, calls but please guys this is even more important if you have some tips and tricks for the love of god please um let me know in a comment below how to increase let's say i need fifty thousand calls right how to not spend one thing but to earn them of course by playing the game you will receive co containers and then um, you can pick up specially for the calls but is it any other way to not using the calls but to gain the uh, call uh, so you you don't have to like wait for one or two or heck even half a year to reach that 50,000 uh, call I did um, play the ranked uh, season so I did receive to rank one I do believe 5,000 uh, call which was nice uh, so yeah I did some missions probably I would like to say that some missions let's go to personal missions uh, I do have to apologize uh, now I have to, uh, do, 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 do. personal missions where the hell are they yes over there it's the events probably some events give you some call right some challenges please let me know you guys are even more pro than me uh, well flags and call but I'm, I'm talking about the main focus it's how to increase the damn call over here it's the personal the tier 10 uh, ships you 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 are grinding for the um, legends leg, legend modules but the the topic today it's guys let's say if you don't want to spend real money you know like 80 uh, bucks that's that's a lot right um how do you easiest increase and what you have to do i'm talking about missions or maybe some containers of course the regular containers always are nice and the best of all i do believe guys it's the super container which can have uh, how, how many calls Fifteen thousand calls which is nice right you know three of those containers uh, fifteen thousand by three oh i'm i'm on the way so yeah very nice now guys before i gonna end this video very short the world gaming decides to buff the japanese uh, destroyers uh, from i do believe from tier 6 all the way to tier 10 and what it's the buff i'm talking about from the story let's go talk about guns you see this is not a bad uh gun boat <laughs> believe me or not i mean they reload 5.1 second with my build <laughs> it's 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 not bad um now the he uh, damage it's right now uh, 2200 for ap and 1800 for he 
and the percent to put your enemy on fire are 7. Or you may decide to buff the percent to put your enemy on fire from 7 to 9 and from maximum damage of 1800 to 2150 or something like that. So it will be by far the best, um, shall I say, HE salvos and you have 5.1 second which basically means that guys i'm not gonna uh, uh, lie uh, those guns are very accurate it's very easy to uh, to to hit of course your hp pool are not that great you don't have any good speed but yugomo versus many other uh, japanese destroyer have pretty pretty good uh, good guns the only the damn problem it's all your guns are on the rear and uh, and you kind of uh, have pretty damn good uh, angle to use all the guns however if you let's say use your smoke and your concealment and uh, with this new type of uh, very large he salvos you will cripple your enemy and uh, you're gonna laugh god and say right now but in the next patch when world gaming uh, will implement this uh, change well this buff this is definitely one hell of a uh, destroyer to deal and i have bft and you may argue that i could also have advanced fire and train i don't know if it's that uh, smart this is more like a torpedo boat but definitely can um, protect herself especially in the near future when world gaming uh, decide to give this ship 2% uh, higher chance to put your enemy on fire and bigger uh, damage per salvo and per shells uh, this will go from tier 6 all the way to tier 10 guys all the Japanese destroyer and something else is for the beloved um, um, Furutaka all the way to tier 9 worst destroy a cruiser in this game Ibuki uh, uh, where game decide to buff the rate of fire from Ibuki and the turret traverse speed because this is the downside let's go to the module and let's go uh, fast the buff the buff basically will buff uh, the stock without any uh, captains or any perks will go from uh, 5 to 4 uh, uh, from 5 to 4 uh, minutes a second so it will um, a fifth a fifth faster to retrieve speed that's what i'm trying to say because now it's 38 points i mean it's it's worse for and, and then a damn shan horse and a damn uh, battleship for crying out loud and i do have everything spec or of course with uh, expert markman you need to have expert markman otherwise you know it's it's slow t slow reload and slow turning and and I know where game decide to buff them because I do honestly believe they are lacking. They are kind of a big ship, easy to citadel. Um, I I believe where game and they uh, buffing the turret traverse speed of uh, uh, Miyoko and uh, Furutaka and Aoba and all that, uh, even the Ibuki. It's good, but they need something else, not just the turret traverse speed. Uh, the um, the rate of fire it's a mech and they are too damn big to a battleship to miss basically when you're playing a french battleship or shan horse or anything uh, and that it's the damn problem we're gaming i am shan horse i have 19.9 kilometers range you have not talking about the same tier uh, you are miyoko your gun range are what uh, this is the, also one big hell of a problem uh, you're stuck with 15.6 I can shoot you you cannot shoot me how fair is that but you are almost as large as a damn battleship you, if she is not kiting away or she's not you know in a good position where she is she could be one shotted by many tier 7 battleships AP so it's a good buff but it's not good enough in my honestly opinion uh, um yeah that is well let me know guys that's all for today please please for the love of god uh, uh, give me some more information about how the heck to reach that fifty thousand call asap to unlock 
the most expensive um, battleship in the entire game over 80 us dollars to purchase now there is an option and the option it's coal for, for, but for, for many people it's not like a free experience you see i have 1.3 million e free experience and you may argue that if if a tier 9 or tier 8 premium ship will come to arsenal i have a good chance to purchase her right however the jean bart it's not a case you need the damn coal and to grind that coal it takes much 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 more time than let's say free experience that's all for today guys subscribe to my channel and please let me know would you perform to uh, rather purchase the jean bart with real money or waiting to uh, gain the coal instead from the arsenal that's all for today have a good one take care and bye